Here's our PoE LED lighting demo. We're using a standard PoE plus mid span. And this, once it receives its signature, will output approximately 30 watts to the LED driver. Here's the LED driver, which will drive up to three LEDs. And I'm using a tricolor LED here. We have a wireless access point, which is connected to a single board computer. Arduino in this case, which connects to our driver by the I2C bus. We have an application running on a smartphone, and this application wirelessly connects, and we can control either one of the three LEDs. I can change the color or an intensity of either one. The PoE mid span is providing the power. The control is wirelessly connecting through to the single board computer, which is then controlling the LEDs via the I2C bus. This LED driver isn't just limited to PoE. Here we have an application using a DC supply that supplies a number of LED drivers, all with their own individual controllers. These controllers can be controlled over a wireless connection, either by Zigbee or Wi-Fi. This second application still uses a DC supply, but the LED controller is a single device that connects to all the LED drivers using an I2C bus in a daisy chain arrangement. This controller can be controlled locally over the Ethernet in an Internet of Things type application or local wireless control using Zigbee. This application uses DC supply for power, but the control is over the Ethernet. So this Ethernet again can be controlled locally using Wi-Fi or over the Internet in an Internet of Things type application. Here is a fully networked application where each controller is connected simply by a sim single Ethernet cable. This cable provides not only the power, but also the connection to the network and maybe the internet. So this is a standard IoT application where each individual room can be controlled via wirelessly by a local laptop, PC, smartphone, or over the internet remotely from the same type of devices.